This video is about uh, how I restored a broken garden scale locomotive. The Backman big hauler locomotive is part of a train set uh, consisting of the engine, tender, two passenger cars, tracks and a power supply. I found this locomotive at a train show. The two cars and the power supply were missing. The train must have fallen on a hard surface since the front boiler was broken. A number of other parts including the front pilot truck were also missing. Starting with the boiler front I cut out the broken part of the shell and designed a matching 3D printed part for the repair. Half of the pilot truck frame was still in place. I used it as a reference designing the new pilot truck. I reused the original spring and related hardware when attaching the truck to the chassis. The whole truck assembly is made with PLA plastic except the 10 mm bearings. The valve gear bar guide was missing on one side. I used the remaining guide bar as a model when designing the new guide bar. One can't really notice a difference without a close-up look. Since the passenger cars were missing, I searched for and found a 3D print design for a garden scale coal wagon online. I did some modifications to the design to make it compatible with my train and uh, printed it out. The whole coal car is 3D printed except for the screws, the coupler, metal bearings and axles. After making all the essential parts, I installed them temporarily on the locomotive for a test run on the track to make sure that everything worked the way they should. After the test run, I attached a 3D printed boiler part to the boiler front using Bondo filler. I used the filler to glue on the piece, fill any gaps and smooth out the surface. I then applied primer and paint to the whole boiler front section. Once that was done and the other missing parts were made, I assembled everything. So the parts that I created with the 3D printer were the boiler front, well gear guide bar, front pilot truck and also the smokestack and the bell. The locking clips for the tracks were also missing. Those were also easy enough to make with the 3D printer. I still need to repair or replace the lid for the battery compartment on the tender. The power supply controller was also missing, but I have several compatible controllers, so there was no need to buy a new one. This is the very first garden scale train that I have owned, so it has been a fun learning experience. Thank you for watching.